another video here with Lost in Seattle. We're going to speak on the Jay-Z situation. <laughs> so Jay-Z, the world famous historic rapper slash billionaire, uh, billionaire as well. He sold title. I don't know how surprised I am at that. Not surprised at all. He done this, he did that, he's done this before, but he sold title his streaming service for the artists to uh ceo and billionaire jack from the, the ceo of twitter for 200 hippie. yeah the hippie for 297 million dollars jay-z knows how to make money we can get the edit button but jack had 297 million land around to acquire title Square is acquiring a major ownership stake in title through a new joint venture with the original artist becoming the second largest group of shareholders and Jay-Z joining the square board. Why would a music streaming company and a financial services company join forces? Oh, Jack also had cash app. Yeah. Which we know now, uh, Joe Budden and such has ties to cash app as well. Yep. Uh, it is revealed that the deal includes a mix of cash and stock of 297 million for uh, for a significant majority on the state. Significant majority on the state means what? 60 plus percent? Yeah, I would guess around that much. You say significant? That means owner state. I mean, it could be, it depends on what everybody else owns. It could be 40% and everybody else owns, you know, 10, 15%. Hell, even 5%. Yeah. But if it's saying, you know, <laughs> it's saying it's a significant majority, which means they are completely in control of the company. I would imagine 55 to 60%. Seems like uh, Jack wants to get his hands in it. Everything. Yeah. Huh. He's a tech guy, I guess. DJ addressed the deal in a series of tweets. He wrote, I say that from the beginning, the title was about more than just streaming music. And six years later, it has remained a platform that supports artists at every point. And the careers, artists deserve better tools to assist them in a creative journey. Jack and I have many discussions about titles, endless possibilities that have made me even more inspired about his future. This shared vision makes me even want even more excited to join the Square board. This partnership will be game changer for many. I look forward to the new chapter it has to offer. Now, this is the same thing that he's done before. Here, I'll show another article. Uh, Jack Dorsey. Square acquires Jay-Z title music for $297 million. Um, Jay-Z acquired title from his Swedish parent company, Spiro, in 2015 for $56 million. Yep. While it is quite a popular, uh, isn't quite as popular as the best streaming services out there title has a vast catalog of over 70 million songs and 250 thousand videos including the original podcast and live performances hmm. remember when they released uh beyonce's lemonade album and they pretty much at first was only on title yep and then they put the video a video i guess you would call it album because all the all the video all the songs had a video to it on title yep how many subscribers did that bring i'm not quite sure I guess it didn't do much. Well, it couldn't have done still much. The, the, the uh, business is still in the red. They're not really making money. I mean, and we also have to que have to ask the question: Why wouldn't Joe Button want to go to Title? Well, Title is a music streaming. You, I mean, they got podcasts. They too. have podcasts too. Matter of fact, he said that he was offered. No, yeah, he said he was offered uh, with Jay Z. He asked Jay Z about his business model, and Jay Z said, "I ain't telling you." And he said, "All right." Damn. He told he he wanted to see the numbers, and Jay Z said, "I ain't showing you shit." And Joe Budden said, I understand. Kind of disrespectful, ain't he? He said the way I said it. But he was just like, no, I'm not showing you the numbers. And he was like, okay. You're well. kind of disrespectful. Well, no, he was just being honest. <laughs> I don't think that's disrespectful to tell somebody no. But Well, if I'm if I'm coming to you, if you're if you're presenting a business offer to me and I'm asking to see stuff and you're like, no, then. Yeah, just don't do it. He's not making them do it. Okay. But here's why this reminds me of another situation. Jay-Z, Dame Dash, sell Rockefeller Records. Jay named Def Jam Perez. Now, Jay-Z just sold title. It was named to the board of Square, which is owned and run by Jack. He also sold Rockefeller and then was named president of Def Jam. It's almost like he, he they, look, I have no ill will towards Jay-Z, but he reminds me of a mascot. Yep. They did the same thing with the uh, Brooklyn Nets uh, stadium. They constantly went around calling him an owner of owner and he ended up owning like point something percent of the damn stadium but they used him so that they could build that big ass stadium in brooklyn which is gentrification but because jay-z name was on it jay-z face was on it it was like it's okay 
pretty much Jay Z. But then next thing you know, as soon as the thing is built, Jay Z sells his little stake in the con- in the damn stadium, and they're like, "Hold on, now we got this big ass stadium in in Brooklyn. Now guess who? The price is going up. Everybody got to move. Gentrification. He helped gentrify Brooklyn. But anyway, I just think is he. This situation reminds me a lot of when they sold Rockefeller and he became president at Def Jam. It's like he he builds a company. They use him to build a company or to put his face on a company and then he sells it and joins the company that bought it. Almost as if he's being used or he's volunteering himself to be used. Yeah, but he's making money off of it. He bought this for fifty six million and made two hundred and ninety seven million. He did also sell he's half made of his- money. He's making money at the expense of who? Well, the artists are still have stock in the company. They're still the second largest. Um, but let's think ownership. about those black people who lived in Brooklyn now are having to move oh, yeah. because they but, can't afford to stay there. Yeah, they don't talk about that, though. They won't talk about that. But um, it is, I just think it's the same thing. But I want to get into the title. This is what they had to say. But I want to read the comment. There's a particular comment I want you all to see here. Said, all right, hear me out, y'all. And that, not this guy, I'm sorry. Uh, this person here, he said, "Cove cashing out these days. Something's coming. Can't think of it now, but it's coming. I can feel it." So these are the the Jovanites, the Hovenites. I'm sorry, the people that worship Jay Z and think he's just he is a he's a businessman that make money, but they see him as this guy that always has something cooking good for you in the end, as in the consumer or the, the what, artist or something. <laughs> what has, what good has he had for anybody? I don't know, but did he sell? No, I'm not even getting to that. Anyway. So these people are people that think Hove always has the best interest of other people. I don't think people understand. To become a billionaire, you have to be selfish. Very selfish. You can't out. You, you can't be, be a selfish person. and you gotta be vindictive. Yeah, you can't be a person that's friendly and want to help everybody get money. Like you have, if you catch them at the right time and you know you hit the jackpot at the same time as them, they'll celebrate with you. But a billionaire they don't mind saying you fail so they can succeed. A billionaire has a ruler uh class mentality. mentality. They don't really they look at everybody else as kind of pawns. It's like if you're not a billionaire and I'm a billionaire, I mean I can use you to make more money. And now he has a a champagne line coming out. Well, he also sold half of his liquor state, I think it was a little while ago, for another two hundred million, three hundred million. Apparently. So this this woman right here made a good point. And it was a, it was shocking the amount of hate she got. She said, Man, are there any black owned music apps? My membership is on a probation trial with this new ownership. So she's saying it's not, it's, let's be honest, it's not black owned no more. Nope. So she's like, I don't want to use it. So she got 22 <laughs> likes and all that. Look what this person said. They went and got a fake account. But they said, Jay-Z is still going to have shares in the company. Even Beyonce and Nick are joint owners. So you're putting your membership Nick- on probation because of a white person, Jack, who has supported black movements like Black Lives Matter and SARS, etc. Want to acquire the majority of stake in black companies to help improve its technology? Come on. What are you saying is actually racist, you know? I very racist and segregationist. What? Another black person. All this. Also, Jack launched a fund to support hairstylists and barbers when COVID first hit and everyone was on lockdown. You can see where the money goes here. Are y'all fucking? What's wrong with wanting to be? What's wrong with wanting to use only a black company? Mm. This is the problem. We we. <laughs> it's not a black owned company no more. It's not. The majority stake belongs to a non-black person. And what's funny now is now it's black people that come out and attack yeah. you when you say stuff but like this. You gotta keep in mind, this is also Jay-Z. Yeah. So these people, you know. And I noticed when they put in stars. Yeah, there, I already know. I'm pretty I, sure this person. Yeah. I don't want to say that. I'm pretty sure this person is uh probably Nigerian, Nigerian some type of African. Yeah. But it's like I say it for you. She's wrong, but wanted to be only give business to a company that's owned by a black person. That's wrong now. Isn't that what? No, every other uh, group support their group, like Asians. Every other group. Now, let me tell you something. If uh, Asian or white or uh, uh, Native was, American company, whatever, was bought out mm-hmm. by another race that was supposed to be owned by their race, they would say, "Wow, what's going on?" What group of people can you really think? Who? What group mostly, like ninety nine percent, supports their people? I would say Asians probably even out support white people. Like when it comes to their yeah, community yeah. and they set up shop, they are coming there to support that business. Yeah, uh, white people kind of turn. They they they've been split the last couple of years because of politics. Liberals and yeah, they're and, yeah. They're, in the end, they're the same, but they get they want to get to the end goal in different ways. They got to divide to conquer. Yeah, you know. So yeah, I just find it strange that that was wrong of her to want to only support a black business. But this is Jack. 
talking about his acquisition of title and how he wants to help it and da da da. Jack the hippie. <sighs> I, I just don't get Matt, it. But, but this, uh, but on the this man is also censoring people for misinformation. Yeah. Are you? Are they not looking at the long term effect that this man is going to have? Now, the Vo- this is Vox here, and they made a article about this. They said, "Why did Jack Dorsey buy Jay Z's failed music service?" Now, it's let me, let me say this: the um, <laughs> it did not, it does not have a great uh name title. A lot of black people say it's bad. Uh. A lot of black people say he should have renamed it. No, no, no. A lot of people say no. It's a bad art. On I mean, your bad app, I mean. It says the okay. idea. It's all the garbage. Everything. It's like season yo is running the show. Um, I, I'm, I'm just gonna say it. Fuck it. They said the title app is garbage. They said it's, it's glitchy. <laughs> they said that um the music on there they don't really something going on with that. They said that uh it's not really worth it. It's a trash app. That's what they saying. It's not good. People were complaining how why would you get angry and not say that you wouldn't even support the app now you want to talk bad about it now that he sold it and they was like well it's not a good app that's why that's why well I've, I've never been on the app so I, I can't say whether or not it's a bad or good app so can't Somebody, speak on that this person here said they loved it they said that since day one this sound is really best for me this girl said she hoped they can compete um it, yeah it's not really a beloved app a lot of people say that the app is just not good now i noticed something they said that uh now you know jack and a lot of these other people are starting to get into cryptocurrencies and stuff so i wonder because with, with jack going buying title are the artists now going to be paid through direct payments on cash app probably so is that is that the new model they're going to use where you get paid through cash app that quicker and all that stuff so now basically he's trying to make his own bank Pretty much. I mean, that's pretty much what it is at this point. Square, pretty much a bank with Cash App and all these other services. So, how mm-hmm. how long before those payments become cryptocurrency? Or can you buy? Oh no! Matter of fact, didn't um Joe Button say that they he in his plan or at least in what he wanted some of the um uh when you go to there, some of your money will be in cryptocurrency, a certain percentage. So I can, uh, think uh, he said that on his podcast. Yeah, so that it can appreciate in value. So all your money is not going to be in cash. Some will be in, you can you can have some of it be in cryptocurrency. I thought mm. when we know what direction they're going in. Yep, slowly but surely. Yeah, but Jay Z doing what Jay Z do, making money off of people and making it seem like he's doing something to benefit you. Um, so is it time for black people to? I mean, ask all, ask all those artists that signed with Rockefeller when he went to Def Jam. Did anything really happen for them? But you know, we're going to go. Jay Z, he's always looking out for a little guy, I guess. Nope. Jay Z's always looking out for Jay Z. Hey, hey, and that's what he decided to do. But anyway, man, that's our opinion on the situation. I think it's Jay Z being Jay Z. Not surprised. I, it may be beneficial somewhat to the artist of title with the direct payments and all the other stuff. Maybe to be able to sell merchandise and get payments for it quicker. When it, they may even be able to get money or make money when they're not even on tour with this being combined but we'll see we'll see how long before uh they change the name of it change the whole structure of it and make it not even what it's supposed to be but all right man all praise to the most high